Hey everybody, we're here at the grocery store and look at all these fruits and vegetables. But you know, things are kind of all over the place and I really like things to be organized and sorted in a way that kind of makes sense to me. Now, that doesn't mean I think there's only one way to sort them out, but let's see if we can sort them in, in different ways. You want to help me with that? And then we can count out how many we have of, of each thing. So let's first figure out what all we have here. We've got some squash. I see some bell peppers here. Uh, how about the tomato? And corn, onions, potatoes. We got a lot of things here. So let's get going. Maybe we should first just sort them by the actual fruit and vegetable that it is. And let's see how many we have of each kind. So let's do the corn first. Okay, so as I set those together, now I don't see any others. Okay, it's a little better. So how many corn did we have? Well, we had one, two, three, four. Okay, now which thing do you think we have the most of? Well, we gotta count them all to figure that out. So now let's move to our yellow squash. And so we've got one, two, three, four of those as well. I don't see any others. We have the same number of corn and squash. Look at that. So as we keep going, now let's do some potatoes. These are these little, little potatoes, and I think we've got quite a few here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and I may just do another row here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But we even have more than that. 11, 12, 13. 13 potatoes. Now I can sort these other things too, real quickly. We won't count all of these out because we wanna move on. Maybe we can sort it in a different way. So as I have these tomatoes over here, maybe I'm gonna move my bell peppers over here. But now we can see they're nice and organized. You'll see that? So that's great. But do you think that's the only way we have to sort them? No. We could sort them in different ways. How about if we sorted them from small, medium, and large? So we did it by size. That time we did it by the actual type. Now let's move into the size of them. So let's start with the smallest ones. What do you think is the smallest? That's probably our potatoes, right? And we already counted those and we said there was 13. So we'll consider that to be our smallest group. Now let's make a medium-sized group. Let's do it right over here. So medium sized, I think these onions are kind of the medium sized. And you know, maybe also we throw in the tomatoes. How about that? I think the tomatoes kind of are about the same size. So we could put all of these together and now we can count them out. So let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we had 12 medium-sized things, right? And we had 13 of those small ones. These bell peppers are a little bit bigger than those. So I'm gonna leave them up here and there's four of those, but look at the corn and squash. They're so tall, right? So maybe I make their own category over here. So I had four squash and four corn, but if I add those together, what is that gonna get me? Well, I can count on from four and I can go five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight in that group. So we've figured out another way to sort these objects. Let's try and do one more. How about by weight? What if we did it by weight and we put them in order from the, you know, the smallest weight to the largest weight and we counted it in there. So I can use something like a scale and I could actually measure these things out. Well, here's these little potatoes. Now, they're a little bit different size, but we're just gonna measure one and we'll say that that's the weight. So as I put it on there, it looks like it is only three ounces. Ounces are not very heavy and these potatoes are not very heavy either. So those were three ounces. Now, what do you think? Do you think it would be the same order that it would be in size by how big they were? It might be. Like these onions, they measured at six ounces. But these tomatoes, this is a big tomato, it's 14 ounces. So they were in the same group here when we did it by size. But actually, these tomatoes weigh a little bit more than the onions do. 
okay? So there's all kinds of ways that we can sort these out. And it's so great to have things that are organized. And I encourage you, can you find some things that are around you? Maybe it's toys that you have close by. Or you go into a closet and you see, whew, this is kind of messy. Can I organize my clothes in a certain way? Maybe you do it by color. Or maybe you do it by a certain type of shirt or pants. So there's all kinds of ways to put things in categories. And then ask somebody else, hey, would you sort it the same way? Or would you sort it differently? and you can practice your counting skills as you do this. So be sure to count out each one and how many you have in those groups.